for the quick cast checking stories making news as you head out the door this morning. Mm -hmm. Many people plan getaways oh, yeah. for Memorial Day weekend. And this coming weekend is expected to be one of the busiest times for travelers. Cakes and Lala, she is live breaking down the numbers and how it could create a challenge for people on the road. Good morning, Annette. <sighs> That's right, Jamal and Gloria. You know, a busy start to the morning already. We see plenty of drivers over here at 13th and West, and we will see a lot of them this weekend. AAA predicts that 37.2 million people will hit the road for the holiday weekend. Uh, it's actually its best year in 10 years, believe it or not. We have tips and tricks as to the best way to save money on your gas and be a little bit more safe on the road. All the information is on cake.com. Just click under Find It. Reporting live in West Wichita and at Lawless, Cake News. Also making news this Wednesday, an armed robbery at a park in Northeast Wichita. Officers were called to McAdams Park at 13th Street and Interstate 135. Dispatchers say the robbers held up a group of people playing dominoes. A meeting of concerned parents in Mulvane focuses on the actions of the school superintendent. One parent says students have orders not to comment on an animal cruelty case. A proposal changing the rules so Uber can operate in Wichita is heading for the governor's desk to sign. Governor Sam Brownback also signed a bill legalizing fantasy sports leagues such as rotisserie baseball. Two tornadoes caused serious damage in Mineral Wells, Texas. That's a town west of Fort Worth. Several homes and downtown businesses were hit. And troubles with airbags have led to an expanded recall, now the largest in U.S. history. It involves 11 different car companies, which use Takata airbags. The total number of cars and trucks included in this recall is now almost 34 million. PayPal customers may get a bonus in a $25 million settlement of credit fraud case. The Consumer Financial Protection Bureau claims PayPal signed people up for credit programs without their consent. Hillary Rodham Clinton is pressing the State Department to hurry the release of emails from her days as Secretary of State. The Democratic presidential candidate told reporters in Iowa she wants the emails out now.